can log in. We now need to create the tap single sign on key and also import the tip single sign on key so it knows how to sh share the credentials between the two. So we go to security, security administration, authentication mechanisms and expiration. And you see the same settings here, 10 minutes for the cache timeout. We see a difference in the credentials, 40 credentials timeout. Instead of being the whole day, like it was for the tip, it's only two hours. So that means you have two hours from logging into the TEP to launch or to share that credential with another application such as the TIP. After that two hours expires, you have to re-log in in order for the credentials to be shared. Um, now we need to produce our TEP key. Our, and here the password doesn't need to be the same as the TIP key. I just do it so that I don't have to remember any more passwords and we need to put the path. Remember, we had one called tip key. Now I'm going to make one called tap key so we can distinguish between the two. And we click on export key and we get the message successfully exported. Okay, now we've already exported the tip key, so we need to now import it. So we change this from tip to tap, from tap to tip, I mean, sorry and we click import keys because we want to share the key from the tip in the tap so that it knows how to share the credentials. So click import and we see successfully imported. We click the save button and we're done. So now that is all set up. We can now log out of the Tepsi administration console and we need to restart the Tepsi again. And we do so, and I will pause as we recycle. Okay, now that it's back up and running again, everything's configured for the TEP, so we don't need to re-enable the TEPSI administration console unless you prefer to. Um, but we need to go back into the TIP and import the TEP key now that we've created that. So go to my TEP, I mean the TIP, and we log in with our tip admin ID, our administrative ID, and go to security, secure administration, authentication mechanisms and expiration, and we scroll down. And we need to supply the password that we used for the tip key, since it was the same. And instead of using the tip key. Now we're using the tap key to import. Don't get them confused. It can be very easy. If you do, it won't work. Import keys. It says successfully imported. Save. And now we can log out. And we need to restart the tap, I mean the tip server in order for the changes to take place. So again, since it's running on TCR, I can do that from the from the bat files pro, uh, provided. So I will pause as it stops. Okay, now that it stopped, we can start it. Okay, now it started. Everything is configured thus far. We still have a few settings left to do, but before I continue, I want to uh, emphasize the importance of changing all the LDAP settings and the single sign-on settings and before exporting a key. You need to restart that server just as I had done the example before exporting any keys because those settings will not take place until the restart. And if you do so before restarting, then that key will no longer be valid after afterwards. Okay. So now uh, we have a few more settings to do inside of the MTEMS we have to configure what we call a cookie domain similar to the domain and uh, domain setting for single sign-on. So we can do this for the desktop client and the browser. I'll just show you how to do it for the browser because it's exactly the same for the desktop. Uh, so we right click on the browser and we say reconfigure and we see this window pop up in which we have attributes. 
uh, the attribute we're looking for is cnp.cookie.domain. Now, I've already configured this. You have to first check the in use button and type in the same domain that we had done previously for the single sign on configuration, so tiddly.demo. This is so that the TAPS knows to share the credentials to another application in that domain. So click OK, OK, and you're done. Now everything has been set up and configured properly. Now we need to we can verify inside of the tip. Let's do that first, that our user account can log in properly. So we'll go to the tip, and we'll use an LDAP account, the one we call Tivoli Administrator. Our short name we use is Tivoli. Log in, and we do see the welcome screen show properly, as I explained, Tivoli Administrator. OK, so we've verified that. Now we'll log out of the tip. Now we want to go to the tip.